Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to the show program Users TV. Now, as you guys have known of late, uh, of late we've been actually obsessed with web development. Okay, we're exploring uh, web development. We've been doing a lot of tutorials, and we're going to continue doing a lot of uh, web development tutorials. So, uh, today we're going to start looking also at the Python right here. And Python, of course, has several frameworks like Pyramid, Django, etc. We're also going to start with Cherry Pie right here. It's such a cool, it's a very cool uh, framework. It's lightweight. It's also purely, it's also 100% uh, object oriented. Okay, so we're going to start with it. The first thing that we need installing it is actually quite easy. You can see right here, these are the commands for installing it. So let's say that you have a folder somewhere like this one. You can just cd, of course, into uh your shell whatever shell you are using which i'm using git so i just move to your project folder then of course have this one right there and then um it's going to run it's going to install for us our cherry pie so in our case as you guys can see right here it's telling me the requirement already satisfied we already we have our cherry pie installed okay you can see is already so so if you don't have it we're going to need to install it using these particular two commands either via pip or of course easy install so that's it that's how we install a cherry pie then of course you fire up uh, your ide for me i'm going to be using the pycharm so i'm using a uh, pycharm right here say that you want to uh, come right here and create a project for instance i can give this one and of course we we'll go ahead create let's create start from scratch create a new project so you can see this is our empty project right here if we want we can just come and then of course create a python file so we come let me call it index okay so one of the reasons one of the main reasons why we've chosen to start with cherry pie is actually it's a quite a lightweight uh, framework it's also uh, perfectly object oriented okay it's object oriented so if you're coming from other languages it's actually very easy to pick up so we come the first thing of course is to import our cherry pie so we come right here and then let's go ahead import our cherry pie so this is going to of course import the cherry pie libraries into our application then of course we create a class we said it's an object oriented let's call our class uh, index then of course object creator then of course we're going to define now this particular class is going to act as our controller if you are familiar with mvc we're going to have um actions which are of course methods those particular methods are going to be we can map them of course to urls for instance say right here that we, uh, let's come right and say at cherry pi dot expose okay so we use expose function this is going to expose this particular method that you are creating if you're creating a method of course in python you start with the def right here so def we have right here index okay then self which of course is the equivalent to this in other languages then of course we can come in and say return then uh, what are you going to return let's go ahead and say hello world read hello world you don't need semicolons and etc this is python so we have our index method right here so let's come right here and say if name equal to main so if this is the case then of course we're going to start our cherry pie you come here and say cherry pie but quick start quick start is going to go start our application then of course we pass in index okay an object of our index now if you're associating something of course in uh python you don't use the new for instance the way you do in c sharp or php or java you just pass in index this way and then of course yeah we run our project so let's go ahead come right here we run it's going to give us uh this one uh, right here the url now you can see we have our hello world application just that simple we already have our hello world application now 
let's say that you want to make uh, this one a little bit prettier so we can come right here write some html so html then of course we go ahead close our tags then of course we're going to have uh, the header okay then of course we close our header we're going to start the body just a basic html uh, right here to display our web page then of course we're going to close the body then inside this particular header in fact uh, what we can do uh, let's come right here i use the three so we're going to come this one here so it's easier so header right here the header section then of course we're going to have the body section then of course we're going to close our html so inside the head of course we're going to have the title so let's come right here have our title so title we're going to have it as hello world this is our title then of course inside the body right here we're going to give it have here the h1 attribute and then of course i'll uh, close it so of course you can just type your code somewhere and then come and paste it right here then of course we're going to have our paragraph attribute right here this is our first python plus then of course we close it right so that's it we come we run it in fact we can just go ahead and refresh it in our browser let's come right here you can see we have our hsm of course you can style it you can make something uh great you can style now let's say that you want to show different pages okay this is just one page our uh, index so we want to show we want our simple uh app to have different pages now we're going to come at cherrypie.expose this is going to expose our this one should not be here is going to expose our function so by the python is normally very strict when it comes to indentation so we come cherrypie.expose then of course we're going to come def let's say about us okay let's just have it as about then this time round we're going to come copy paste this one so this time round is going to be about the title is going to be about us so about us right here. now what you're doing right is what is uh, normally called in web development routing okay so we're going to be routing our different functions uh, to different URLs right here so index is going to uh, lead us to the home page then of course about is going to give us to this about us about page so this is our first python class and then uh, this is about us page that's it we come we rerun our project then of course we navigate over to our url uh, right there great so we come right here then okay then of course we come we can just have this one as about you can see so you can see how cool already we can uh route our application and then we just typed these few links now let's say that maybe you have some external uh html file let's create a html file right here let's call it index okay let's say you want to show an external html file so we come index.html right there then uh, we can go ahead style it so we can go ahead type html right here you can see i've applied some simple background color and then of course the font family just some basic styling right here then now instead of just displaying this html string we're going to come call the open okay so open we're going to pass in our index dot html and that's it so that's it now we come this time round 
we run our application so this time okay we come click our link right here okay you can see uh, very simple we already have our simple application uh, right here in fact we can go ahead improve it a little bit we're going to let's come uh, no I think it's, it's just fine of course you can if you want to style it further you can just go ahead in fact you can just go ahead and style it we can also come then have this one about us now about us of course is not style okay about us is not style because with the about us page we're displaying it from a string right here from our string right here of course if you want to style it also you can just have it right here or create its own file so you guys you can see uh, just with that this simple class right here in fact this is quite amazing just with these few lines of code we already have actually the basic uh, template for a site right here the others are just of course styling and adding more components but you can see we can already uh, move through different pages we can route our application uh, just with this simple the simple class that we've just written right here so this is why we are starting with cherry pie right here we're going to make some cool stuff with it you guys i'm hoping you, you've loved uh, the tutorial please if you have uh leave us a like below okay so also view our other web development tutorials and also make sure you stay tuned because we're going to be doing a lot of tutorials other sake here i'll catch you in the next class